Chair Lear, you're, you're up on lawn licensing. Okay, here we go. You're on. <clears throat> um, is item 10.2, and that is a board waiver of administrative rules amendment in the in rule R277-121. And the discussion revolved around um, how waivers primarily for uh, uh, days take place days and hours and instruction take place. And um, I hope I'm getting this right. If I'm not, jump up. Oh, that's right. Thank you for the reminder. <laughs> Very cryptic <laughs> reminder. Yes. Um, this would take that, this, that waiver request, usually having to do with snow days, from the, the general pupil County rule, R277-419, to um, a separate rule, and which would be R277-121, and we discussed that, felt like it should appropriately be dealt with in this rule, and so the committee moves that the board approve R277-121, draft three, board waiver of administrative rules on second and final reading. Okay, the motion before the board is that the board approve R277-121, draft three, Board waiver of administrative rules on second and final reading. Any discussion to the motion? Seeing none, let's vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Aye. Thank you, Board Member Bolter. We got that as an aye. Uh, those opposed? Voting was un unanimous. Please continue. The next item is 10.3. It was an external research request and that was postponed for further information. Yeah. Item 10.4 is our continuing discussion of third-party provider contracted services, otherwise known as, um, what do we do with these uh, third-party vendors and our concerns about those. We, uh, Angie was able to get Superintendent, Assistant Superintendent Stallings was able to get information from the Education Commission of the States, <coughs> excuse me, and also provided some helpful information on additional questions that the committee had from the October discussion um, about the risks and benefits of these third-party providers for LEAs and then the concerns for the board. Um, we discussed whether changes to the to statute were necessary. Um, eventually, we thought that we ought to explore whether statutory changes are necessary. The board can do this on its own. So the motion for the board is that the board request the legislative appropriation for additional resources in an amount to be determined to support USB monitoring <clears throat> responsibilities, these are of these third party providers, and direct staff to determine whether changes to the law are necessary. That's the motion. So that's under 10.4? It is. So I. And I, maybe I'll read this under 10.4. I have it that the board requests a legislative appropriation. I'm, I'm on the same. Yep, page. that's the right one. I didn't. Legislative say it. appropriation exactly for additional resources that. in an amount to be determined to to support USBE monitoring responsibilities and direct staff to determine whether changes to code are needed. Okay. Discussion to the motion, uh, Vice Chair <laughs> Brittany Cummins. <laughs> I thought this was a committee motion and not a full board motion because directing staff to work, to come back to committee with a question was, I don't remember, was meant to be a full board motion. But, um, and I think the legislative request was already on our legislative request ask. Is that correct? I was just, I, I didn't remember it well enough. So, I, I mean, I followed whatever it said here. So okay. maybe Angie will remember it differently. Um, <clears throat> Deputy Superintendent Stallings. Push my button early and quickly enough. Um, just to clarify, both of these issues, you have taken motions on both of them already. Oh. So one was the seven or eight FTE for monitoring, right. and then the other was last week when we brought the policy request to you where we talked about what it would look like to codify 
um, saying that state standards for monitoring should be the same as federal standards. So actually no motion is required at this point. You've already taken action on okay. it. Okay. So without objection, I'm going to withdraw the motion. Thank you. I didn't okay. translate that quite right. as well. Thank you. Item 10.5 had to do with one of the charter school task force recommendations. And that uh, the committee discussed the charter school task force recommendation that charter schools remain as nonprofit 501c3 entities with statutory administrative rule changes um, and how that might look and at what point do most charter schools or do some I'm giving a little benefit of the of the discussion and not um, the motion yet but at some point usually charter schools change or or some do from 501c3 entities to public schools some retain their 501c3 entity also and so uh, our concerns were what what's the best way to approach this so the motion and and so we wanted to create a bill file that we haven't done yet no hey, no, no, Angie, no this is another one we've up. already done hey. this come back up I yeah. believe this one's also completed I'm sorry we've so already we're not going to I'm not going <laughs> to accept your motion okay. so please continue this Good. one's handled okay <laughs> you know that sounded a little deja vuish so there you go um, all right, 10.6. This was easy. Um, this was a request from Twilla School District for a waiver from R277-419-4 um, for Wendover High School and Anna Smith Elementary School. Um, the schools would like to, to move to a four-day week. Um, the superintendent, the Twilla superintendent was there with the board, a board member. Um, they had an excellent discussion and explanation of their their um, dilemma with uh, being right on the Nevada Utah border and um, the challenge of providing an education that's good for Utah students and and also keeping them in Utah. <coughs> and so the motion um, for the board, which comes from Board Member Davis, is that the board approve the request for waiver from R two seven seven dash four nineteen dash four. Um, for these two schools to go to a four-day week as requested by the Twila District Board. Okay, the motion before the board is that the board approve the request for waiver from R277-419-4 as requested by the Twila School District Board. Any discussion to the motion? Seeing none, let's vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Board Member Bolter, are you in on this? Aye. Are those opposed? Voting was unanimous. I, I believe um, it got complete your report. Thank you very much. Okay. 